Hello YouTube, Sidekick here with another installment of the Iron Bomber's Guide to the Galaxy. We have a little bit of a fun mission for you here today. Uh, the mission is available on my Discord server if you want to go and try it. Um, we're going to set up a what-if scenario, but really this is just an excuse to basically fly pretty much the same mission that we flew in the A4 a while back called the Tipping Point, but this time fly it um, with the Harrier against more modern weapons because I just kind of figured that would be kind of fun to do. So, so let's take a look at the what if scenario that, that we could generate that, that might give us an excuse to do that. Let's say the year is about 1993, and in the wake of the Gulf War and the fall of the Berlin Wall, Russian, uh, Russia's looking to embarrass the U.S. in the Middle East, but it really lacks the capacity to engage directly. Syria is looking for revenge, both for the 1973 war and also the debacle of the Bekaa Valley in 1982. The U.S., on the other hand, is distracted by the aftermath of the conflict in Iraq and anti-war sentiment at home. Israel is distracted by internal divisions and ongoing unrest in the occupied territory. So uh, Syria convinces Russia to provide it with some modern air defense equipment uh, and armored vehicles and plans another surprise attack in the Golan Heights. Belatedly, Israel and the U.S. realize the danger, but the U.S. is unable to intervene directly because of the domestic situation and its distraction in Iraq. And so all it is able to do is provide Israel with equipment upgrades, including two squadrons of AV-8B Harriers. And then, on October the 9th, 1993, Syrian forces assault the Purple Line. As in 1973, the Israeli Air Force is initially stunned by the depth and sophistication of the air defenses and has to respond with ad hoc tactics to gain enough suppression to prevent covering forces from being overrun while looking for a more permanent solution to the problem. So let's go get a mission briefing, and then let's go fly the mission. Gentlemen, orders, situation. Once again, we have been the victims of a surprise attack. This morning, Syrian forces attacked the Purple Line in the Golan Heights. In the north, friendly forces are continuing to hold the line of the Purple Line well. In the south, however, the Purple Line has been penetrated and enemy armored forces are moving towards the Tap Line Road behind the front line covering forces are being moved to that location to try and seal off the breakthrough. Early airstrikes have encountered significant difficulties and have suffered casualties and difficulty in hitting their targets effectively. A full integrated suppression of air defense strike is planned for the morning, but in the meantime, it is critical to continue to degrade the air defense capabilities of the enemy with direct low-level strikes and to support close air support missions. Enemy. The enemy air defenses have been strengthened with modern equipment recently. In addition to the SA-8 and SA-9 systems, which we expected to see covering the assault forces, we have discovered that the enemy has deployed a fully operational S-300 system in the Damascus area and at least two SA-11 area SAM sites situated just behind the Purple Line. These are the systems that are giving us the most trouble as they really prevent any high altitude uh, penetration of the enemy's airspace. In addition, we have identified Tunguska AAA and Igla Man Pads units providing point defenses, and these systems are much more capable than the ones we had expected to see. However, we do now have a fix on at least two of the SA-11 sites. So, your mission today is to attack and either destroy or interdict the SA-11 site at Grid Yankee Bravo 7277. 5722. Execution. You'll take off from Ramat David Air Base using runway 09. Fly to checkpoint Tango and begin low level ingress. A bearing of 35 degrees should bring you to your target. You'll need to fly below 500 feet, but fly as low as you need to in order to avoid radar lock. We have a limited supply of AGM 88s, and they're being reserved for the integrated suppression of air defense strike in the morning, so you will be loaded with Mark 82 Snake Eyes. Point Tango is, the, is waypoint one in your flight plan. The target is waypoint two. With luck, the site should also be identified by the smoke from the vehicles that were damaged in an earlier strike. Approach the site at low level and make a single pass. The radar, which is your primary target, should be in the center of the collection of the site. I suggest you break hard right after dropping your bombs and egress to the south until you can drop into the Yarmouk River Valley, which is set as waypoint three on your flight path. Good luck.
See you at the debrief. All right, here we are in our trusty AV-8B Harrier on the runway at Ramat David. Just getting set up here, getting the, uh, definitely get the countermeasure system ready. I think we're going to need it today. I don't think we need to do anything with the map. Well, maybe we'll just uh, zoom in a little bit. But I don't think we'll need the map very much today. And I think we're just about ready to go. And we're rolling. Altitude, altitude. Get ourselves sorted out here. Altitude, altitude. Altitude, altitude. Picking up speed. Altitude, jets altitude. Forward. Altitude, Broken altitude. Jets forward. And we're off. All right, so it's a fairly simple flight plan. Uh, we just need to find Point Tango. Waypoint one, so it's uh, on the hub right now. There we drop down, turn left, and head for waypoint two, which is the target. I think finding the target is going to be a challenge today. But surviving having found the target is like a big challenge today. Uh, so we have some pretty sophisticated air defenses out there. I mean, the SA-8s and the SA-9s, not really too much to worry about, but the SA-11s, the Tunguska, and even the Igla Man craft. And of course, uh, we're armed with snake eyes, so we're going to have to get in, we're going to have to be low, we're going to have to get close to hit the target, and uh, we're just going to have to depend on going low and fast and using countermeasures. If there's anything else we can do, stay evasive as much as we can. That's the plan, anyways. All right, there is waypoint one coming up. Just a little over in. Okay, so we definitely have uh, better nav aids, better bombing aids than, uh, than they did 20 years ago when they were flying this in A4 Skyhawks, but. Uh, I think the, uh, the lethality of the defenses we're facing is just a little bit higher as well. So that's uh, going to make life a little bit exciting. All right there, we're coming up on Point Tango. A good view of the end of the Sea of Galilee. Right, well, you can see it's already uh, busy up there today. Let's see if we can add to the busyness. Alright, time to get down. Okay, keep coming around until we can pick up the target. Get there somewhere soon. There it is. Okay, it looks like it's kind of behind the uh, tell there. That's where we want to keep it. Just keep going down. Don't have any radar warnings yet. We're all right. Here 
Okay, we got an SA-8 up there somewhere on the left. Keep that in mind. As long as we stay low, we should be all right. Let's uh, keep it down here around 200 feet, maybe even a little bit lower. When we're flying over the little valleys like this. All right, it looks like the target is right behind. The What I'm going to do is keep it behind the tail. I'm just jinking back and forth a little bit here. Never know what's down there, but I think I'm actually going to keep it behind the tail and we'll come around the tail rather than going over it. Uh, we'll actually fly around it. We can stay lower. Just keep gently jinking back and forth. We get a couple of radar indications. No locks yet, so we're all right. Good and low, keep the target behind the tail. Closer now. Alright, dare to ground mode. Target's just off to the left. Around the tail. And see if we can pick up some smoke. See a little bit of smoke. Another little tail there. Going to try and keep the target just behind it there. So we're the radar below the horizon. The radar lined up. What's there? Oops, that's not good. Break hard. seem to be flying, engine seems to still be performing. So now it's just a question of staying low and getting out of here and hoping we hold together until seconds. we get home. 15 seconds. Up a little bit high here, we're gonna get down. SA-11 behind us. Down, get down, get down, get down, get down. Head for the river, head for the river. Stay low, keep those countermeasures handy. Stay low, keep going back and forth here, head for the river. All right, folks, well, this has been a real uh, altitude, boot altitude. to fly. Hope you guys get a chance to give it a try. Remember, if you're enjoying these missions, and I think I'm going to survive this one, then please subscribe to the channel, tell your friends, like the video. Let us know how you do if you do give it a try. For now... This is going to be Sidekick, signing off.